Um, 50% of the world's wealth is in the hands of 62 people. The growing gap between the rich and the poor has been laid bare in a new Oxfam report showing that 62 richest billionaires own as much wealth as the poor half of the world's population. Well, what's the source of the problem? First, I want to stress that there is a severe imbalance in terms of how the world's wealth is distributed. Global wealth inequality is growing, with half of the world's wealth now in the hands of just 1% of the population, according to a new report from Credit Suisse. The report also shows that a person only needs 3,000 US dollars to mean the wealthiest 50% of the world. In the US alone, the top 1% owns of the country owns 40% of the country's wealth, while on the other hand, the poorer 80% only owns 7% of the country's wealth. There's something wrong. But I want to make this clear. I'm not saying that wealth is the source of the problem, let alone the big issue. It is the extreme or excessive desire for resources such as money or other symbols of wealth, which is the source of humankind's decline. Although humans are not necessarily evil, the inherent want to be better than others means that much of the world's profit goes to a small percentage of the world's population. So here's a solution, and it involves emotional conditioning. Children are very easily influenced due to their young age, which is why I believe that incorporating emotional conditioning in a learning environment will be incredibly effective. One of the problems that with discussing wealth and greed as moral issues is that it's very hard to see statistical information about wealth and understand what it means. Wealth inequality is something that needs to be visually or emotionally demonstrated for people to see this, to get the scale of how what the world we live in actually is. For example, it is easy to ignore that the fact uh, that a billionaire is financially equal to 1,000 millionaires. Human civilization will continue its path to apocalypse until sizable issues such as uh, overpopulation, global warming, and pollution are fixed. However, unless we curb our uh, we curb our culture of greed and excessive consumerism, we cannot fix any of the major problems. The incorporation of emotional conditioning into education will fix our biggest problem by starting with those that are still young and working forward so that the coming generation can fix the mistakes that we have made. Uh, with this, humans can also be raised on a basis of selflessness rather than selfishness. The keeping can be conditioned to want to evenly divide resources in a manner that is not only advantageous for one, but for all.